This is the third in a series of three films about Arabic fungi, and this film is about their taxonomy. Arabic fungi are the sole members of the phylum Neocalamastigomycota. Within this phylum, there are currently 11 genera characterised. These genera all belong to just one family, the Neocalamastigaceae. I will now introduce you to each of these genera in the order that they were discovered. Neocalamastics. Neocalamastics was the first anabit fungal genus to be discovered in 1975 by Colin Orpin. Pyramyces. Pyramyces was also characterised by Orpin. The zoospores of Pyramyces are monoflagellated, unlike those of Neocalamastics, which are polyflagellated. Cecomyces. In 1988, Cecomyces was characterised. It was the first anabit fungus with a bulbous rather than a filamentous rhizomycelium to be described. Orpinomyces. Orpinomyces was the first polycentric fungus characterised and is named after Orpin. Aneromyces. Aneromyces is also a polycentric fungus and differs from Orpinomyces in terms of the number of flagella present on its zoospores. Cuchlomyces. Cuchlomyces was the second genus discovered that had a bulbous rhizomycelium. Unlike Cecomyces, Cuchlomyces is polycentric. Buchphoromyces. Buchphoromyces shares the same main morphological features as Pyromyces. Until its characterization, it was believed that anabit fungal genera could be identified solely based on their main morphological characteristics. This is now known not to be the case. Untomyces. The genus Untomyces seems to be unusual in that it is specific to camelids. Picoromyces. The type strain of the Picoromyces genus, formerly called Orpinomyces C1A, was the first Arabic fungus to have its genome published. Ferromyces. Ferromyces has only been found so far in non-domesticated herbivores. Libitansomyces. Libitansomyces is the most recently described genus and is named after the researcher Eric Libitans, who first reported Arabic fungi as a flagellated organism in 1910. Using DNA-based analysis, we now know that more anabit fungal genera remain to be characterised. As such, researchers have developed a working taxonomic scheme that also includes these uncultivated anabit fungi. Recently, it has been predicted that 34 different genera exist. If you would like to know more about anabit fungi, you can follow or get in touch with the anabit fungal network. Thank you for watching.